The Intermediate Guide to Microsoft Excel 2013 Sound Advice Another Computer Mama Guide Here's another Computer Mama Cookie. The reason I got a computer was to make the computer do all the work. I'm a teacher and there's a lot of things I have to look up for my students. So if you're ready, please start the program Microsoft Excel and open that sample spreadsheet. Hello Excel and hello students. My sample spreadsheet has three tabs, Students, Grading Scale, and Homeroom Teacher. What I'd like Excel to do is figure out the grade based on the percent in column B. I also would like Excel to figure out the Homeroom Teacher based on the class in column D. The Homeroom Teachers are based on the class year, so Excel should be able to figure that out. The grades are also organized in a little lookup table. Column A is for percent and column B is for grade. Now usually I see this organized where 100 is at the top and at the bottom 0. Thanks for playing our game. However, in a VLOOKUP table the grades have to go from 0 to 100. Or if I'm using text it has to go from A to Z. This kind of table is very useful if you name it first. So select the range from A1 to B13, all the labels, all the data. Go to Formulas, Define Name, and click on Define Name. For the new name, please enter Grades and click OK. That table's named. The other table gets a name too. Go to the tab for Homeroom Teachers and select the range from A1 through E2. And now go to Formulas, Define Names, Define Name. Wait for it. When you're prompted, Enter a new name, Teacher. Click on OK. Two tables, two names. Go back to the student spreadsheet. When we'll start with C2 to make our first formula. So go to Formulas, click on Lookup and Reference, click on VLOOKUP. Here come the function arguments. The lookup value is B2, that's the student's percentage. The table array is supposed to be spelled grades, G-R-A-D-E-S. If you don't have the S on, look on the right, no data. When you spell it right, yes data. The column index is number 2. Click on OK, and what do you see? The percent was 84, and Excel was able to figure out that the grade is a B-. minus. Not bad for a piece of software. VLOOKUP is a formula, and you can use the autofill handle to fill that down to the rest of the students. Double click, done and done. Good. Now let's calculate which homeroom teacher goes with which class. On the student page, please click on E2 and go to Formulas, Lookup and Reference. This one will be an H lookup because it's horizontal, it's in rows. When you are prompted, enter the following Lookup value, D2. Table array, Teacher, T E A C H E R. Spell it right or you won't get any values. Row index number, 2. Click on OK. Well, look at that. The class of 2010 has Mr. Green for a homeroom teacher. Oh no, Mr. Green! Go ahead, click on E2. The H lookup is a formula and you can use the autofill handle to fill that down. Mr. Green, Mrs. White, Mr. Plum, and Miss Scarlet. Well, that works for me. Microsoft Excel was able to figure out the grade and the homeroom teacher. This is the Computer Mama, and thank you for coming.